Sutra. At that time, a star bodhisattva Mahasattva knelt on one knee, joined his palms together, and said to the Buddha, I beg the world honored one not to be concerned. In the future, if good men and women have a single thought of respect for the Buddha Dharma, I shall use hundreds of thousands of expedients to take them across and free them. They will quickly be liberated from birth and death. How much more will that be the case for those who, having heard about all these good matters, are inspired to cultivate? Those people will naturally become irreversible from the unsurpassed way. Unsurpassed way. Commentary of that um, Earth Star Bodhisattva Mahasattva is a great Bodhisattva among the Bodhisattvas. He is most outstanding among the Bodhisattvas. He is most replete with great awesome spiritual power, great vows of compassion, great power of wisdom, and great eloquence. Great means inconceivable. He is inconceivable because he is great. This great Bodhisattva know, now kneels before Shakyamuni Buddha. He knelt one on one knee, joined his palms together, and said to the Buddha, With the three commas of body, mouth, and mind pure, he spoke to the Buddha, saying, I beg the world honored one not to be concerned. Go ahead and let go of living beings. Leave them with me. I will be responsible for them. I will ensure that all these beings become Buddhas, rest assured, Buddha, and worry no more for future beings. Commentary in the future wounds of beings. If good men and women in any place and any country have a single thought of respect demonstrated by an intent by putting their palms together but once by lowering their heads just slightly at the side of a Buddha image or by bowing to the Buddha drama, I shall use hundreds of thousands of expedients to take them across and free them. I will guide them along over time so that they live suffering and attain bliss. They will quickly be liberated from birth and death, facing suffering no more. Each of us should consider how did we come into the world? What are we to do? Are we here simply to let time slip through our fingers as we wait for death? We eat and sleep, sleep and eat. What do we wait for death then? Do we wait for death then? Do we earn our living during the day for that couple of meals we take and the clothes we wear? Is it for these things? If it were, then we might as well die soon and be relieved from all that hassle. How is life meaningful that way? It is not particularly meaningful to eat, then sleep, sleep and eat, only to age, then die. Considering life meaningless, some may learn to make a living, make a few dollars by cheating people. They figure they came to this life for these petty issues. If our survival were for the insignificant issues of food, clothing and lodging, then we might as well not go on living. We develop a lot of afflictions and face the development of many problems as we run around for the basic necessities of survival. These problems cause much more misery than delight. We encounter more difficulties than leisure. In this case, we might as well be dead. Why did we people come here? We came to the world because awakened ones awaken those who shall be awakened. I will make those who do not understand the principles I understand also understand. If everyone understands the principles of cultivation, then we would not have so many afflictions. This is our real obligation, which is to come to the world and contribute to the world and bring virtue to the people. Help everyone. Let me help others rather than wanting others to help me. Some think that I save some energy and get the better end of the bargain when other people help me. This is actually a major loss. Helping others to, is to do good deeds which benefits the world and future generations. Shakyamuni Buddha, for example, helped all of us, all patriarchs 
and great bodhisattvas did the same. We must emulate Shakyamuni Buddha, past patriarchs, and great bodhisattvas. If we really want to learn the Buddha Dharma, we do not pay lip service to the Buddha Dharma only, but make sure everyone understands the Buddha Dharma so that they may become liberated soon. It is most critical. How much more will that be the case for those who, having heard about all these good matters, are inspired to cultivate? I hear some people are printing sutras, so, ah, let me print 5,000 copies, I will take care of them. Or some people are renovating a monastery, let me go and work for them. Even though I do not have any money, I will contribute what money I have and what skills I have. I will go and do hard labor. For instance, someone offered today that he will definitely build a temple for the Bodhisattvas next year. One individual volunteers, ten people volunteer, then millions of people will volunteer. The monastery will be built very quickly. This is very beneficial. Cultivating in thought after thought means to never forget cultivation. Instead of thinking about creating karma in thought after thought, cultivating purity in thought after thought, those people will naturally become irreversible from the unsurpassed way. Quite naturally, they will never renounce the unsurpassed fruition of body. Sutra, after he finished speaking, a bodhisattva named the Empty Space Treasury, who was in the assembly, addressed the Buddha. Warned or not one, I personally have come to the Chajashrimsha heaven and have heard the first common phrase of Star Bodhisattva's awesome spiritual strength, describing it as inconceivable. If in the future good men, good women, gods and dragons hear this sutra in the name of Earth Star Bodhisattva, and if they behold and bow to his image, how many kinds of blessings and benefits will they obtain? Please, won't or not one, say a few words about this for the sake of beings of the present and future. Commentary After he finished speaking, a Bodhisattva in the great Chajachimsha assembly named Empty Space Treasury who was in the assembly. Empty Space Treasury wears a treasury on his head. This wish-fulfilling poem grants him anything he wants since it is on his head. This is why he is called the Empty Space Treasury. You recognize him, that Bodhisattva who wears on his head a precious pearl that makes wishes come true is Empty Space Treasury Bodhisattva. His valuables are in empty space, or empty space contains his treasury. I believe you will never be poor if you know this Bodhisattva. Why? This Bodhisattva will give the valuables in his empty space treasury to you. You will never deplete it throughout lives to come. He addressed the Buddha, Won't honored one, I personally have come to the Chajachrimsha heaven, he said. From my land, I passed eight zillion lands to arrive here at this Dharma assembly of the Chajashrimsha heaven. And I have heard the first common praise of Star Bodhisattva's awesome spiritual strength, the might and power of his awesome virtual and spiritual penetrations, describing it as inconceivable, unthinkable, ineffable, and unheard of. In the future, Good men, good women, gods and dragons, and others of the Eightfold Pathion hear this sutra on Earth Star and the name of the Earth Star Bodhisattva. And if they behold and bow, to, and bow to his image, how many kinds of blessings and benefits will they obtain? How much advantage will they gain? Please, word honored one, say a few words about this for the sake of beings of the present and future. Now I only hope you, won't or not one, will describe this briefly for all of us beings in the present and future. Sutra The Buddha told the empty space treasury bodhisattva, Listen attentively, listen attentively, I shall enumerate them and describe them to you. 
good men or women in the future may see images of earth star bodhisattva and hear this sutra or read or recite it. They may use incense, flowers, food and drink, clothing and gems to give gifts and make offerings to him. They may praise, behold and bow to him. Such beings will benefit in 28 ways. Commentary The Buddha Shakyamuni told empty space bodhisattva, listen attentively, listen attentively. This means for you to pay special attention. I will tell you now, if you do not pay attention and listen, then I will not speak. What good will it do if I talk and you do not listen? Similarly, as I lecture the sutra for you now, you must also listen attentively. If you keep on sleeping instead of listening, then you do not hear what I say, rendering what I say to be unspoken essentially. My first request then is to stop sleeping and being drowsy. I shall enumerate them and describe them to you one at a time. Good men or women or men and women who do good deeds in the future may see images of earth star bodhisattva and hear the sutra or read or recite it. Seeing an image of earth star is an expression of sincerity with the I sense Fakunti, hearing the Earth Star Sutra, is an expression of sincerity with the ear sense Fakunti. Reciting is an expression of sincerity with the tongue sense Fakunti. Offerings of incense and flowers are expressions of sincerity with the no sense Fakunti. And food and drink are expressions of sincerity with the tongue sense Fakunti. Clothing and gems are expressions of sincerity with the body sense of faculty to give gifts and make offerings to him to praise behold and bow to him using eyes ears nose tongue and body are expressions of sincerity with the mind sense of faculty due to the earnest expressed by the six sense of faculties of such beings they will benefit in 28 ways what are these 28 different advantages Sutra. First, they will be protected by gods and dragons. Second, their good rules will increase daily. Third, they will amass supreme causes pertaining to sagehood. Fourth, they will not retreat from body. Fifth, their clothing and food will be abundant. Sixth, they will never succumb to epidemics. Seventh, they will escape calamities involving fire and water. Eighth, they will never be threatened by thieves. Ninth, they will be respected by all who see them. Tenth, they will be aided by ghosts and spirits. Commentary. First, they will be protected by gods and dragons. Gods, celestial dragons and celestial asuras will protect you because you know how to recite the Earth Star Sutra. Asuras in the heavens enjoy blessings but no authority. They swear to protect you. Gandavas are music spirits before the Jade Emperor. They are also called sniffing spirits. Whenever the Jade Emperor lights up a particular incense, Gandavas come. They are male Gandavas and female Gandavas. Male Gandavas wear a horn similar to Shimandras on their heads. Once they get a whiff of the scent, they will dance and sing, so the celestial music rings in their heavens. Recite Earth Star Sutra and Gandavas will sing praises as they dance on air. Garudas are great pong birds with golden wings. Kinaras are music spirits too. Mahavragas are giant pythons. All of them protect someone who recites the Earth Star Sutra or bow to Earth Star Bodhisattva. Second, their good rules will increase daily. Sometimes cultivators are extremely bold as they set their resolve on body. Consequently, during a lot of marriage, sometimes they turn around and withdraw. They retreat because they feel that they do not experience any responses despite all the merit they do for Buddhism. Good results increase daily means that they do not retreat, instead they grow back 
by the day, they develop blessings and wisdom, do good and virtuous deeds, achieve merit, and always move forward vigorously in Buddhism. Why? It is because you recite Earth Star Bodhisattva's name, recite the fundamental vows of Earth Star Bodhisattva Sutra, or pay respects to Earth Star Bodhisattva that you experience the response of growing good effects on a daily basis. Third, they will amass supreme causes pertaining to sagehood. This means they do various jobs in Buddhism, such as printing sutras and building temples, repairing bridges and paving roads are about amassing supreme causes pertaining to sagehood too. Making asuras, turning the great dharma wheel, and doing all these good deeds are about cultivating the path to body and amassing supreme causes pertaining to sagehood. Fourth, they will not retreat from body. Sometimes we are vigilant and sometimes we are lax in our cultivation. Vigilant, we are quite bold with everything. Relax, we feel that we are not getting any responses from any work we do, so we retreat. Recite Earth Star Sutra, recite Earth Star Bodhisattva's name, and bow and make offerings to Earth Star Bodhisattva. We do not renounce our reserve for Bodhi. Our wish for enlightenment moves ahead and grows on a daily basis, never retreating. Fifth, their clothing and food will be abundant. We are not short of clothes or food. People work their entire lives for those three meals a day. They work hard out of fear of dying because of starvation or cold. They are always looking for more money. When we did not have any money, we want $10,000. When we get our wish and earn $10,000, we find that lacking. We tell ourselves if we had $100,000, we will retire. But when we make that $100,000, we remember that our kids have to go to school. We do not have enough money. We want to buy a car, so there is not enough money. We want to buy a cool boat, so there is not enough money still. Thinking even bigger, we may want an airplane. $100,000 does not do any good. We look for money. When we find that $1 million and are already to buy that plane, the price of the airplane of the airplane has gone up. We could have purchased it for $990,000 before, but now it is $9,900,000. The price has gone up by 10 times. We cannot afford it once again. We can never catch up because of our greed. We were going to be satisfied and retired as millionaires, but we end up continuing with the pursuit. We are never satisfied and never content. If you recite the Earth Star Bodhisattva's name, recite the Earth Star Sutra, bow and make offerings to Earth Star Bodhisattva, you will always enjoy more than enough clothing and food when you want to buy an airplane. You will earn more than enough money for two airplanes. That is how wonderful this drama is. In that case, I will hurry up and recite Earth Star Bodhisattva. Recite Earth Star Bodhisattva in the hopes of buying two airplanes is greed. Large amounts of greed will not bring about results. All we can do is try our best while reciting. Do not care so much about whether there will be the results. Some say, Master, I feel I am tricked by what you say. Then what? Do not be tricked. Consequently, we must be content and be patient with what comes. Sixth, they will never succumb to epidemics. Recite the Earth Star Bodhisattva's name and you will not contract any contagious disease, diseases. Epidemics cannot touch you because there seems to be a border between you and the disease. I remember when I was in the northeast China during a plague. A household of 11 had 13 deaths in three days. How can a household of 11 have two more deaths than the number of the family? Two were bearers of gifts. 
11 was not a large enough number, two more had to be added. Out of these two, one was a worker for the family and the other was a distant relative who came to visit. There were additions to the 11 that made the total number of that 13. When I was there, I took four young disciples with me. We are going to go and rescue people. How? I told, him, I told them, let us recite the Great Compassion Mantra to draw the Black Spirit. We went to villages blocked by this epidemic and circled the place three times reciting the Great Compassion Mantra. When we finished reciting Great Compassion Mantra, the epidemic vanished. So reciting the Great Compassion Mantra is very effective and wonderful. Seventh, they will escape calamities involving fire and water. Beside Earth Star's name, there will be no floods or fire, or they will not drown in water and not be burned by fire. They will naturally flow to shallow spots and reach the shore when they fall into the sea. They will naturally be rescued when fire is closing in on them. If they will never be threatened by thieves, why are you robbed and stolen from? It is because you unreasonably took other people's money for your own. You had lied in the past, so you are robbed in this life. You have to pay your due. This is the reason why you are robbed and stolen from. All this is a result of cause and effect. There is nothing strange about it. If you really understand this, then you will see the cause and effect in any state and recognize this cyclic law. Ninth, they will be respected by all who see them. Recite Kwanshin Bodhisattva and Earth Star Bodhisattva's names and pay respect to them. People will respect you and feel close to you. They feel as if they see relatives from long ago. They feel so close to you as if they have come home. This is like being alone overseas where you know no one. When you meet some old friends, you feel awkward. You do not know whether you're happy or sad, whether to smile or cry. Or you want to laugh and cry. You cry because you see someone dear to you. You laugh because you feel secure now. People respect you at the sight of you. No one criticizes you or mistreats you. Do not say, you know, I am a upasaka. You must respect me, respect me or I am a drama master, bow to me when you see me. This is not about forcing others to respect you. The saying goes, musk will naturally smell nice. Why let the wind blow on it? If you were really virtuous, do not act like some medicinal patch is a salesperson. Oh, my medicinal patch is the best. Arthritis, rheumatism, numbness, just put on this patch and it will cure itself even if you do not put on the patch. Do not sell yourself, fearing that others will not know you. Do you know who I am? I am the most powerful Buddhist Dharma protector. I am a senior Dharma protector at so-and-so temple. And so, I am the, broad, the board of director of some charity organization. I am also the supporter of some place, etc., etc. One introduces oneself because one is afraid that other people will not know. Stop, that is pretense and untrue. Advertise and sell yourself, then blind individuals will not know and be swindled by you. But you, but people with eyes will see it right away, finding you pathetic. Tenth, they will be aided by ghosts and spirits. If you have real merit, why publicize it for yourself? Ghosts, spirits, Dharma protectors will help and support you. They will help you and resolve your difficulties from behind the scenes. No need to publicize. The tenth advantage is that all ghosts, good and bad, and all spirits, good and bad, will all help you. Evil spirits will also help you. 
Is this due to the power of Earth Star Bodhisattva? It is by the power of Earth Star Bodhisattva. All evil ghosts and spirits become Dharma protectors. If I recite the Earth Star King Bodhisattva, will he tell people to come and scold me? No. Why? To tell you the truth, you are not up the level yet. You have not even finished studying. How can you pass the test? You pass when you graduate from college. Why test you if you just entered college and have not even graduated? Do not think that scolding is bad. Scolding a test. If you can take it, you pass. If you pass, keep going forward and cultivate. Do you cultivate any more after you pass the test? Cultivate even more once you pass. If not, what is the use of passing the test? What is the use of studying to earn an, a PhD? It is the same idea. If you understand, you understand. If you do not understand, there is nothing I can do.